matches. Hello? Who's there? Hey, wait. I don't remember being kidnapped. Oh, darn. I don't remember anything. I should light up my surroundings. Uh, take a look. Uh, they went through my stuff, bastards. Oh, God, my head is killing me. Feels like it's been bashed in. I'd better take a look and find out what I'm working with here. I believe we were supposed to meet here. Where could he be? Hey, miss. I'm afraid you can't be here. There's been an accident and we're clearing the scene. I'm looking for Jorg Born on behalf of Uli Reiter from the Zurich police. Ah, you must be Anna Myers. Pleasure to meet you. You've impressed a lot of important people, including Lieutenant Reiter. <laughs> so I've been told. Marx, what are you doing here? And where is York? Everything turned out to be more complicated than we expected. It's no longer his responsibility. Something major must have happened if the NDR was involved. Unfortunately, you're all too right. You need to see this for yourself. My goodness. Today at 11 a.m., one Heinz Adenauer entered the Parliament Hall and opened fire. So far, we've confirmed nine deaths, seven politicians from different parties, and two officers. Two more politicians and six constables are wounded. Some of them are in a critical condition. The killer must have had combat training. We'll know that for certain soon. Is this Heinz Ardenauer in custody now? He's heavily wounded and in an ambulance en route to Inselspital Hospital. 
Heinz Adenauer started his massacre in this womb. What was his motive? Was he after someone in particular? We don't know. We haven't really had the chance to talk yet. I'd like to examine the crime scene. Of course. This crime could have international dimensions. What makes you say that? Here, look at this badge. What is this? This badge belongs to SEDA, a Spanish right-wing group. Hmm. Hmm. We did have delegates over from Spain. Unfortunately, they died in the shooting. Where were they sitting? Just there. Oligario Estevez, Acción Agraria Riojana. Thank you to the citizens of Zurich and the people of Switzerland. Let me thank President Rudolf Minda for his welcome today and express my gratitude to the Council of States. No wonder these meetings take days. Those introductions go on forever. They don't speak for us. That's not who we are. Christ, get to the point. In its last session, Parliament considered new policies regarding financial aid for Spain. If the aforementioned policies fall through, Spain will be forced to seek German funding. The current annual budget deficit is 900 million pesitas. To reduce the deficit, which are now being sustained as a consequence of significant withdrawals or deposits. Da, 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 da. Mm, economic growth and industrial expansion continue to be our top priority. Destructive expenditure of the war years should come decisively and finally to an end. A right-wing group that's reluctant to partner with Germany. Peculiar. I've read the Agrarian Party leader's speech. What does it have to do with this massacre? He was a member of SEDA. Could have been the target. I take it you've got a theory as to his motive? Oligario was trying to free Spain from German influence. Seems like SEDA hasn't reached an internal consensus. Wouldn't it be easier to carry out this attack domestically? Why would they unnecessarily complicate their own operation? I don't know. There's no reason to think I'm right yet, anyway. It'll take more information to piece this together. Let's go into the corridors. This calmness is eerie. What's this? What have you found? Wait, I found a rifle. It might belong to the killer. A Mauser. May I? You know this stuff better than I do. I've never seen this model before. It's similar to a Mauser Gewehr 98, but fancier. This is no ordinary weapon. He either has powerful friends or deep pockets. Go on. This model is fresh out of the factory. Mauser's only just begun mass production. So this weapon certainly didn't belong to a guard. 
Did it? Our guards are armed with Lugas. I'll pass the rifle on to forensics. Were there any other weapons on the scene? A Luger, extra ammo clips, and a combat knife. All the property of Heinz Ardenauer. Quite the arsenal. Well, let's keep looking. this jacket up, please, while I search it. Of course. I don't think this belongs to a politician. I don't think so either. Could be Heinz's. Empty. Car keys. Must be parked nearby. Great. I found keys. Heinz Adenauer. It is indeed his jacket. I found the keys to a Coraggio A9. It must be his car. Have you seen any suspicious cars close to the building? I haven't investigated the surroundings yet. But I might have seen a car of that model, actually. There. I've got the keys right here. Another Luger. Why bring so many weapons? Charles Kistner. I've heard that name before. We'll have to analyze all the information inside. Great. I found a notepad. Your letter of January 27 came a few days ago, and I told Mr. Gerian Dur about it as soon as possible. He has read your submissions and claims carefully, but unfortunately they are still pending. Yours sincerely, Helena Bachmann. Pending, Helena Bachmann. Pending. 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 All the same. All right. I think I'm done here. Great. I found letters. We'll carry out a fully-fledged search afterwards, so don't worry about missing things. That's fine, but the thing I'm interested in is already in my hands. A stack of letters rejecting a petition that Adenauer filed repeatedly. May I? Oh. They're from the Secretariat of the Federal Department of Finance. Were there any victims from that fund? Not sure. I'll look into it. By the way, I came across this notepad full of names and addresses. Could you have someone run through them? There might be a lead in there. I'll do that. Well, I think we're done here. Let's go back and investigate these letters some more. You want to check this place out first? That's right. Passport. Any luck? 
The passport of one of the victims. It belongs to the secretary who was mentioned in the letters. Helena Bachman. There's Mr. Geriondeur, her boss, and another victim. Vengeance seems like a possible motive, considering the hit list. If your anger ran deep enough, you'd want to lash out to the person who caused it, wouldn't you? But to do that to so many innocent people, I don't know. His anger was directed at the system. He wanted revenge on all politicians. He probably thought that his actions would change something in the future. Sounds reasonable. But I'd like to have another look around the conference hall. Tell me anything about this cartridge case. I'll need to see it first. Oh, that's strange. Hmm. It's a nine millimeter. And why is that strange? The guards, the police, and the shooter all had Lugers, 7.65 millimeter. And the killer's Mauser rifle we found is 7.92 millimeter. None of the guns we've found use this caliber. That just means we haven't found all the weapons yet. Do you know what it could be? I think it's a Beretta M1923. Maybe there's an extra gun in the boot of the killer's car. Let's give it a look. Bomb? It is. And it's activated. I'm calling the bomb squad. They'll be too late. Even if they're just around the corner, I'll do it. What? I've done this before. I need to put it somewhere. Put it here, quick! So, you've done this before? It was... What the hell? Another bomb!
Okay. I need to get out of here. I can hardly see anything. It's really good to see you, Emma. Oscar. Is that you? You must be hungry. strong enough to use as a pick. A candle. I can light it and have a better look around. Now to work on my improvisation skills. Right there. Anna. Oli. doing here? I'm on a call out. What about you? I'm here to talk to someone. Fingers crossed we're after different people. My guy's in no state to talk. So there's been a murder? Yeah. Don't tell me it's Charles Keistner. It is. <sighs> Damn it. Did he know something that could have got him killed? Not sure. But he's somehow involved in the events in Parliament. The terrorist attack? Oh, wow. By the way, the shooter's vitals are improving. He's not responsive yet, though. Mind if I tag along for the investigation? I was going to ask you to. Let's go. Ernestine. That's why the last name rang a bell. The people around me just keep dropping like flies. I'm sorry you've got to go through this again. Mrs. Kistner, I'm Lieutenant Reiter. You might remember me. I'll be looking into what happened. Could you point us towards the scene, please? Charles is in the garage. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I want to stay here for a minute. Ernestine, is there anything I can do for you? There's nothing to be done. I just have to tough it out through this cold, heart-wrenching, 
<gasps> we can do something about the cold. That might make things a little more bearable. I'll close the window. I should lower the blinds for privacy's sake. Let's get you a blanket. yourself in this. Thank you. I'm going to join the lieutenant. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. So, what happened here? Two step wounds. Strangely, about 20 or 30 minutes passed between the first wound and the second. Both wounds were inflicted with the same knife. However, I haven't found the weapon. There must be some clues around to what the attacker was doing in that half hour. I'm trying to figure that out right now. No luck yet. I'd like to check the body first. Stabbed in the top right side around the liver. And the attack came from behind. Dressed for bed in the garage. Wrench in hand. What do you think happened? He heard a noise coming from the garage while getting ready for bed. He came to check and grabbed a wrench. Then the killer snuck up on Charles from behind. I don't think the killer intended to murder him. It seems more like he was looking for something. We'll have to keep looking if we want to know for sure. I found a photo. Oh, hello there. What have you got? Spicy. Who's that in the photo? No idea. Should look into it. Might be important. Any other finds? Yes, we found the cartridge case, 9mm. But Charles didn't have any gunshot wounds, did he? No. We could talk to Ernestine, check whether she heard or saw anything. Let's do that. How are you, dear? Can we have a quick word? I think so, Anna. Ernestine, we need to know what you saw or heard at the time. I came home after work. And heard Charles moaning, crying for help in the garage. I shuffled over, but the killer was still there. He fired a single shot. <laughs> to scare me off, I think. Scare you off? And what time was that? Yes. He didn't seem to be aiming at me at all. 
it was around 10.45 p.m. But I didn't see his face. Maybe Charles did. <laughs> That's why he killed Charles. But he spared me. What happened after that? I don't know. I think he rode off on a bicycle. But I, I, I'm not so sure. You've been very helpful. Would you mind if we had a quick look around? Do whatever you want. I found a button. Uli, take a look at this. An engraved button. Ernestine, have you seen this item before? I've never seen anything like it. My Charles was just an ordinary mechanic. Is that Charles's bureau? Yes. He did some bookkeeping for his garage. You can check it if you want. I have nothing to hide. Let's investigate the Bureau. Oh, here's his client book. Great! I found a client book. They've got a daughter. Dates, purchases, sales. About the client book, could you have someone comb through it? I'll pass it on, yeah. It'll take a while to check all the names. Ernestine, who is this photo of? That's Georgette, our daughter. I haven't even told her yet. Where is she now? Working at the hospital. She took an extra shift. She'll be back in the morning. We'll get to the bottom of this horrible affair. We might come back tomorrow and talk to your daughter. I'll stick around and make sure the body is handled properly. Thanks for your help, Anna. Good night. Good morning. How's the arm? Good morning. It's considerably better. Thanks. Good. Good. Listen, your Zurich Massacre article, it was great. Your best work yet. I got you a copy. You'll find it in your office. Thank you. Let's see what's so special about this. 14 massacre victims in Parliament. <laughs> Sven couldn't have picked a worse photo. Hmm, that could be interesting. German support for Spanish nationalists. Ah. It still hurts. The bandage is soaked. I'd better replace it. I've seen gauze in the storage room before. I'll probably find some there. Hi, Anna. How's your arm feeling today? It's okay, but I think I need to change the bandage. Oh, I think there's a first aid kit in the storage room. Would you mind getting it for me? My arm is still a bit sore. Uh... I don't know. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff? Storage, blood. Fine. I'll just go and get it myself.
I found a gauze. That'll do. Back to my office. I need scissors. Better be careful cutting it. Now for the gauze. All right. I'm good to go. I should meet up with Uli so we can continue with the investigation. Hmm. He's not in yet. I'll give him a couple of minutes. I found a witness statement. Hold on. Uli didn't mention Iris disappearing. Miss Myers. Hi, Nua. Any idea where I might find Uli? The lieutenant is at Kistner's. He's expecting you to join him. Thank you, Constable. I have to ask him about Iris. Anna, Georgette and I just sat down for the talk. Come and join us. Morning. Georgette, my condolences for your loss. How are you handling it? I've been worse. It's all right. He was just a stepfather. We weren't close. It sounds heartless of me to say so, but I never had a good relationship with Charles. Charles was just your average mechanic. I can't imagine why anyone would want to kill him. Georgette, is that you in this photo? Hell yes. How do you like my necklace, Lieutenant? Who took this photo? Francisco Jaco. He's just a sailor. Another ordinary person in your life? <laughs> a sailor? Yes. He's usually stationed at Port de Marseille. But he also spends a lot of time here in Zurich. He's in Zurich now, isn't he? Yes, but I haven't seen him lately. Do you know where he's staying? He usually stays in the hotel on Langstrasse. Great service, that place. Right. Is there anything you'd like to add to your statement? I don't think... Actually, during the extra shift I picked up, I received two unusual calls. Who from? Can't say. The caller didn't say a word. What sort of time? About 10.20 p.m. Right before the attack. Do you mind if we look through Charles's bureau one more time? Go ahead.
bills. More bills. Maps. Wait, what's that by the can? Great, I found a spark plug. Is that a spark plug? It was hidden. Why would anybody hide a simple spark plug? Good question. The garage might hold the answer. It might have something to do with all this. Right. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see. It must go somewhere here. The spark plugs in, but loose. I should tighten it. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, ha, ha! We finally found the great Anna Meyer's Achilles heel. It's not funny. Get over here and help me. All right, don't take it to heart. Pass me the spark plug. a passage. Let's try to open it up. Great. Let's see what's inside. You could fit an awful lot in this place. An awful lot of secrets. Empty. He has a great. I found an application form. Charles has a deposit box in the Swiss National Bank. May I see the document? It's just a deposit box application form. It doesn't necessarily mean he has one. Take a look at the address line. It's crossed out. He made a mistake. So he got another form and filled it in. And it's not here because he handed it into the bank. Makes sense. Would the bank open it for us? Not without a key. We should look around for one. If we can't find it, there's a reasonable chance the killer took it. Could have been the reason for all this. I found a deposit key. I think I found it. Well done. Now that we've got the key, will we be able to access Charles's deposit box? For that to happen, I'll need to make some arrangements. And the key. Good. We should talk to Francisco first. The bank can wait. Agreed. I'll meet you on Langstrasse.
Anna, over here. I did a little inquiring. He's in room nine. Let's go. Francisco Jacob? Do I know you? I'm Lieutenant Reiter. We've got some questions regarding an investigation. Come in. What investigation? It's a murder case. I don't know nothing about no murder. I'm not sure how I can help. That's all right. Do you know a Charles Kistner? I never met the guy, but uh, I think he is Georgette's stepfather. Don't tell me he's dead. Where were you last night between 10 and 11 p.m.? Here, all, all night. Maybe now you'll tell me everything? Yesterday, Charles Kistner was found dead in his garage. And we have reason to believe you're involved. Sir, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing about no murder. If you're truly innocent, you've got nothing to worry about. Can we take a look around? I've got nothing to hide, Lieutenant. Search away. I found photos. Hmm. More photos of Georgette. Anna, take a look. Pass it on to forensics. Great. I found a brownie. We've still got stuff to look through. The buttons on the raincoat match the button we found at Keistner's. One of the buttons is missing. Francisco, you haven't been completely honest. A gun. We'll need Dirk to take a look at it. I'll pass it on. Francisco, what is the nature of your relationship with Miss Keistner? Georgette and I were lovers. Were? I wanted us to be together, but... Um... She didn't feel the same way, ma'am. Do the photos have anything to do with that? What photos? She loved to pose. And uh, she definitely has the body for it. <laughs> who else has a copy of these photos? I'm the only one who has them. I also have the negatives in the drawer. I'll get them. Excuse me. I need to use the bathroom. Go on. What are those dark particles? It doesn't look like dirt exactly. A unique knife shape. Dirk might be able to match it to Charles' stab wound. Uli, I might have found the murder weapon. I'll need to take a look at that. Unusual knife. It'll be easy to determine whether that's the murder weapon. 
It's a tribal gilet knife from the Afa region of East Africa, isn't it? I'm surprised that you know so much about the native tribe's deadly tools. Mm. I bought it on my last visit to Djibouti. Was it bloody when you bought it? No. I don't know how the blood got onto it. I haven't uh, taken it out since I was at the Swiss border. Actually, that's not true. I remember showing it to Georgette last Friday. Mr. Francisco Jaco, we're taking you to the station to get a statement from you. This is just crazy. It usually is when someone gets murdered. We're done here. Let's go, Francisco. And Anna, Heinz Adenauer woke up and he's stable enough to talk. All right. I'll go and talk to him straight away. I'll tell the constables at the hospital to let you through. Great. Thanks. No nurse around. I'll have to find his ward myself. I found a visitor's book. There it is. Heinz Adenauer. Patient room 206. Second floor. I shouldn't take the visitor's book with me. Better leave it at reception. I can't believe he's sleeping on the job. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Not sleeping, not sleeping. Miss Myers, I was just... Uh, Mr. Ardenauer is waiting for you. All right. Nua, the killer is trying to escape. Call Uli and cut him off from the other side. Don't do anything foolish, Anna. Don't even think about chasing him.
Oh, you are not getting away. Huh? Ow! Ow! Huh? What the? get out of these. Could I use anything around me as a tool? useful. Hmm. Bullet hole. Let's see inside. What do you see, Anna? He's not alone. Could be a hostage. <gasps> Anna! Are you all right? Nua! I need a megaphone! We have to help him. How? Give me covering fire while I drag him behind the car. Me? No. Only I can't. There are no other options. Quick, take the gun before Nua loses too much blood. I'm reloading. Still conscious. He needs medical attention. There is a med kit in my car. Thanks, Mum. Sounds like you're concussed. Take a minute to rest. Any intel on the situation at hand? Not much. The building belongs to the Swiss Federal Railways. 
The second floor is the traffic control department. Is it one of the workers in the department? We don't know yet. I'll try talking to him now. This is Lieutenant Uli Reiter. You're surrounded and cornered. Do yourself a favor and give in. Come to the front door with your hands behind your head. Nobody will shoot or... I need a minute to think. What should we do? Anna, are you sure you saw a hostage? If he's alone, we could just storm the building. There was a silhouette. We can't risk it. Listen up. Keep away from the building, or I'll start throwing bodies out of the window. Now what? Let me talk to him. This is Anna Myers. Don't shoot. I'm no officer. What does a journalist want from me? I'd like to hear your side of the story. For a start, let me come in and see if everybody's okay. What are you doing? He'll kill you! Trust me. I'm unarmed. Okay. Come in if I see someone else. You'll be dead in a moment, Miss Journalist. Hi there. Are you all right? Unfortunately, he can't answer you anymore. What? But you said... Miss Journalist, relax. I'm not going to harm you or use you as a new hostage. In that case, why am I here? You obviously had something to tell me. I'm a dead man walking, and I want you to do me a favor. You have to stop them. Them? If you're as good as your reputation suggests, then you'll find out soon enough. Farewell, Miss Journalist. Thank God you're alive. What happened? I don't know. How is the hostage? He was already dead when I arrived. We should investigate. Try to make sense of what the hell is going on here. He was tortured. He's been dead for several hours. Executed by a bullet. Close range. He's been dead for a while. I would say four or five hours. But we need forensics to give us a proper estimate. But that means he was dead before the police arrived. Tortured as well. Yeah, or so it seems. I wonder what for. Any idea who the gunman is? Not yet. What was he doing here? Why didn't he leave after the hostage died? phone number I found a phone number we have to identify the owner the gunman was on the phone when I entered the room so the gunman was talking to whoever this number belongs to seems likely it must have been something important for him to make a call in a situation like this okay give it to me I'll check have you searched the gunman's body no I rushed straight over to you after the shooting in that case we should go and examine the gunman
I found a pendant. A pendant with a photo. It could be his family. There must be fingerprints. Give it to me. What's that? Constable Milton found this on the stairs. Looks like Morse code. Take a look. Great! I found orders. Morse code? There's blood on it. Can you decipher it? Not really. If I'm not mistaken, railroad traffic control uses Morse code too. There must be a Morse code alphabet upstairs. Morse code alphabet. Ah, bingo. Put it here, Anna. Let's try to decipher the code. Form G. Train order. Do you know what this Form G is? It's an order for an extra train that's not listed in the timetable. I don't understand. Why would he do that? He ordered the train for someone else. They want to run an illegal train on the Swiss railway network. The train is moving southwest right now, toward the French border. The French have also been notified about the train. I'll make some calls to stop the train. I'll follow you to the police station. I want to talk to Dirk. I'm going to see the captain right now. Don't mind me. Carry on. Anna. I was looking for you. This is the evidence from the boulevard? It is. I think there's even more coming in. Can I assist you with the fingerprints? I need to identify the gunman as fast as possible. All right. There's a print on the pendant. I think it's in this box. I'll start with the weapon, and you do the prints. The fingerprint belongs to one Boyan Cardos. Quite an exotic name. There are identical prints on the handgun. I'd like to check Boyan's file. Who do I talk to for doing that? Uli. Thanks. I'll go and talk to him right now.
Any discoveries? I identified the gunman, Boyan Cardos. We should check his file. Cardos? What an unusual last name. By the way, they've already halted the train. I'm going over there now. Good. We're finally catching up with them, thanks to you. Now, Boyan... Cardos. Right. Look for his file in my office. I shouldn't let you do that, so keep it secret. Also, the file stays in my office, all right? Don't break my trust. Understood. Now go and catch up with that train. I'll take a look at Boyan's file. Let's keep each other updated. I found a case file. Here you are. Boyan Cardos. Arrested for assault and disorderly conduct. The subject turned violent on hearing of the collision of two Swiss railway express trains near Bula Fingen. Of course. I've seen him before. Boyan lost his family members in that accident. The dispatcher made a mistake and caused a crash. One of the biggest collisions in railway history. The dispatcher wasn't held accountable. The incident was written off as procedural error. The dispatcher's name was uh, Petrus something. Ah, Petrus Teufel. Let's see if he's the same dispatcher who was murdered today. I wasn't allowed to take the file with me. I should leave it on the table. I was looking for you. And I was looking for you. I've got an important update from Gisner's home. Oh, yes? Take a look at this. Oscar has to be behind this. I have to stop them. Excuse me? We have to stop them. And you know, the camera likes you, Uli. Already in the papers, huh? The train operators weren't aware of the situation, so the only benefit is that our armies received some extra weapons. Do we have any other leads? Not... right now. Back to reality. Why didn't you tell me that Iris was missing? 
We have plenty of work to do with all these events. But you know that Oscar is still out there somewhere, and she's in danger. I know, but she refused police protection. Anyway, you had to do something. Forget it. Are you sure that Boyan called this office? I am. We can start by searching the office. an earring. Blood on an earring. You think this is something Iris would wear? Expensive and fashionable. It's likely hers. We should have Dirk confirm it. Maybe there was a scuffle and somebody tore the earring off her. We need more clues to get on Iris's tail and find out where they took her. Clues? Like a footprint? There's one right here. A German combat boot, easy to recognize because of its unique hobnail print. So a German serviceman kidnapped Iris? We can't be sure. Either way, I think Boyan was calling the kidnapper, not Iris. Hmm. Iris isn't involved because she resisted, judging by the earring. But if Boyan and this German guy were trying to smuggle weapons into Spain, what does Oscar have to do with any of this? And why Iris? We're missing something. Let's look for more clues in the hall. I found a pouch. Peculiar. Uli, you should see this. Is it some kind of tobacco? I think it's Yopo snuff. Yopo is a perennial tree, native to the Caribbean and South America. It's been used as a hallucinogen for thousands of years. How do you know all this? For one case I investigated, I had to read everything that had been published about South American tribes. Could you have Dirk confirm it, though? Will do. All we can do now is see where the evidence leads us. Let's go and see Dirk. I'll try talking to the bartender at the cabaret. Maybe he knows something about Iris. Anna, please be careful. Good night. Usually there's more going on here on a Friday night. Hello? Guess I'll be coming here tomorrow morning again. Taxi! Taxi! Bergstrasse, Eure Tages. Say, aren't you Anna Myers, the journalist? I am, yes. Huge fan. I often talk about your stories with passengers. Thank you. Travis. I first saw you a year ago. You were wearing a yellow dress. 
I believe you must have mistaken me for somebody else. Yellow's not my color. It's a breath of fresh air, seeing you in this filthy, rotten, heaving mass of a city. Like an open sewer that nobody bothered to close. This city could really do with somebody capable of cleaning it up. Like who? You. You'd be a great president, Miss Myers. Oh, Travis, that line of work's not really for me. Why are we stopping? Let's keep going toward Vergstrasse. Excuse me, but I have to pick up a friend. It's on the way. God! We've got you a hat. See if it fits. What's taking so long? Patience. Enjoy the game. My goodness. I have got to get out of here. Think, Anna, think. Maybe I could pick the lock with one of Iris's hairpins. Great, I found a hairpin. Sorry, Iris. Desperate times. Time to open the lock and get out of here. for Miss Myers. Go to hell, psycho. Where to now? Anyway, he's better than back there, I'd say. They made a passage directly to the sewers. It's high time I left this hellhole. That might be harder than I thought. Help me to open it. There's nobody up here. It could be Gerhard or Dara again. Better to wait here a while. I need to hide. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ha, <laughs> ha, 